guys welcome back so today so i got these two wigs um both by outre 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 uh, not really sure which one like how to pronounce it but nonetheless um i got those Ooh, my glasses are so dirty sorry <laughs> Anyway, so I got these two weeks from Altre, um, and I like to do real world, um, real world reviews on wigs. So a lot of the times when you see the wig reviews, they just they put them on and oh, it's melted and stuff like that. I want to do one where I'm wearing it for some days and kind of taking a look at it and seeing how it's doing, things like that. So I went on my Facebook page and asked which one should I install first. And the first one we're going to do is the Algerie Perfect Hair Line. This is Laurel uh, in 1B. Um, it is real scalp illusion, reduced lace grid lines. Fully hand tied 13 by 6 frontal. So, if you don't know what that means, that you have 13 inches from ear to ear and then 6 inches back of free parting space. So, a lot of times when people say that, they're like, I don't get it, but that's what it is. So, if you look at the pictures, you'll see like what your frontal looks like. So, you have 13 and then you have that there um, natural pre plucked hairline. Um, and then in the back it also has like the elastic band kind of to help give it the glueless look um, Pre-plugged hairline with natural baby hair it comes with pre-attached elastic band and heat styling friendly um, Here we go, so Taking it out the box the box is very secure um, so I got two of them. I got this one and then I got it. I got the melted hairline. Uh, this is Harper and she is actually in a DR2 ginger brown. So she has a little bit of red kind of woven through there. I think she is going to be a banger. Um, but like I said, what I want to do is um, put them on, install them, put them on, and um, wear them in real time, and just kind of check back in um, to see how it holds up in day-to-day -day usage. So this is straight out the pack. Uh, let's cut the card off. Um, lots of packing stuff. Oh, get that so um, Comes with a little sh uh, shipping card. Gives you all of that information. Uh, it is heat resistant up to 400 degrees. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside and like I said it has pre parting 13 by 6. Um it's got adjustable straps in the very back. It's got that uh, front strap. It, I mean it's got the uh, elastic band. These are adjustable straps, right? So you can take this off and move it. There's like little loops up underneath here that you can adjust it so that it will adjust to your head size. And then it also has this. Um, this is the lace on the inside. Gives you the look of scalp. Now I have seen where they have literally taken like a ripper and cut um, this part off so it when you look at it you actually see scalp and not this um, 
So just pulling it out the pack, um, fingers go right through it. It's super soft. It is not um, Barbie doll-ish hair. Um, shedding. shedding. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that is just coming out the pack. Shedding. So that is what people want to know and see. So let's see what she looks like just fresh on the head. Uh, no prep work to it or nothing. So <sighs> I used to work at a hair supply store um, and one of the things that they showed me, they had a wig room and one of the things that they showed me is like the best way to put these on with this type of elastic band. So they said that you put that on first and then pull that down. There you go. Let me take these glasses off. Hopefully I can see <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. Fresh out the pack. Uh, I'm going to have to cut the ear tabs. Cut the ear tabs. But it's comfortable. It is comfortable on my head right now. Um, this is what the hairline looks like. Like I said, it does have some baby hairs in there. Uh, you'll probably have to cut some more if you're a big baby hair person. Um, so this is just straight out straight out the box. She's cute though. She is cute. So let's go ahead and mm-hmm. So I am five foot so that's roughly 60 inches. And she comes to my navel. So she's long. Um, and you can always trim these up if you know that, like, hey, yeah, I like it, but I also don't want it down to my, my navel. She's gorgeous, though. The only concern is it's darn shit. Like, right off the pack, I ain't cut nothing that she's shit. Um. And then, I think I'm going to throw her on the head, on the mannequin head. And let's do some customizing, cutting that um, the lace off and stuff like that. So, this is what I was telling you about on the inside. So, I do have the even tinted lace. I kind of want to see what that looks like. I'm half tempted to cut that little piece off up in the top so you can actually see the lace part of it because it's just weird that they would put that. And they say it gives it the scalp appearance, but you know. It's light. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to take it off the head. I'm going to kind of change around a little bit. Be right back. Okay, so we are back. And I've got her on my head. As you can see, um, what I'm going to do is part some of this out of the way. And just do a little puking. Just a little pluking. The hairline is not bad. It's just uh, this lace is so light. I tell you what we're gonna start with first. We're gonna start with trying to use the tint spray. Uh, 
Now, we're going to try that first because this lace is so good. Like, this is my skin. This is it. So, you're going to have to tint it. And then, when you look at the hairline, it's not bad. It's just, you know, really, really light. I mean, it, it just, with the knots being so dark, like, it's very, um, with the knots being so dark, it's very visible to the naked eye, as well as this line right here, like, you can see it straight through, which blows the braids off of me. Um, and I know I don't have a good look. Um, but it just bugs me because I just feel like if there is, I want to know what's under here. I feel like it's lace. I feel like we're cutting it. <laughs> Look, I feel like we're cutting it. We're cutting it and we're cutting it because I feel like there's lace under here. And if I can take this off, so let me show you. Let me take these out. I really want to get one of those um, already on there. Okay, so let me show you. Um, so right here, it is a clear line of demarcation. I'll try to better. To better. Because see how dark those knots are? And then you've got like this line right there is where that fake scalp is and the knots are so black and I'm like ah, potential can be very under exceeded so we're gonna do some real fast work on this and we're gonna possibly take we're definitely gonna take this and then we're gonna take a look at it and see what else needs to be done because I would be mad at myself first of all. So first let's cut some lace. Alright girl, I feel like I want to cut that off. I mean, the worst thing I can do is not have it there, but also I have this on. Yeah, it's lace. Why did they do that? So, it's not like strictly for scalp purposes. I don't know why they would do that. It's so, ugh. And it is okay to customize wigs and make them your own. And put your own touch on them. Hang on. But I'm gonna try this and see if this works. starting to like it a little bit better and you don't have to take it all the way down but like on both sides so you know um let me take all of this lace off but also like i said i mean it's laced up underneath here so i don't even know why they would do that because 
it's clearly a line on there that you can see. Okay. All right, so we got Shin, and then we got this fake scalp that I don't particularly care for. But across that front, you definitely don't want that showing. So maybe if we can cut it down to a certain spot, like it'll be okay. So this is actually being filmed on Labor Day. So although I'm not working today, I am doing this because I kind of want to see what it looks like. And like I said, I just wish the outro is really shouldn't be what you did. And nobody checked on this. I don't know. Maybe something did. Okay, so And usually I would not do all of this, but also, I just, I don't know. It just, it, I don't know. It, it got me somehow. Okay. So we cut that off. We cut that down. Let me cut this down in the back so I don't like the way that that looks. Uh, I'm not doing the ball cap method because um, honestly, I suck at it. So, plus, I'm also a queen of IGP hot flashes. So, let me go on ahead and take this off. <laughs> it smells good though okay so there's that let's see if that works a little bit bits out of there. that see how that works and then we're gonna pop it on and put it on. so I like to cut lace and then glue um I know everybody uses the um elastic bands but I have an old dress tie that I use it works for me I don't know how long it takes for this to dry. Oh, it does not dry. So we're just gonna let this dry for dry down for a bit and then come back. Okay, so I am back and Ooh, Lord Jesus. okay. So it is dry on the inside, so now the knots don't look as bad. They do not look as bad. Um so let's try this again. It does have a 
code in the back. Oh, and actually, okay, take these glasses off. Alright, so there is that. I did not do any plucking. I'm concerned about doing some plucking because I feel like if I do some plucking, it's going to show that um, I'm afraid if I do some plucking, it's still going to show that line. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to do any plucking. Um, so, however, what I am going to do is put this lace. Alright, so ear tabs. Definitely got to go. Okay. There is that. There is that. And then. We're going to do that like that. But on this side, let me put it up some. And so because we are going to Okay, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into three because I like to do three sections. So I like to I wanna tell you so if you don't see how this ripples right here. When you get ready to stretch it or put it down, it's going to pucker that so it's not even going to lay straight. And then you'll be mad at yourself. So, work with you. Trust the process. Um, so, to adhere it. So, it depends on how I'm feeling. So, if I'm feeling, I don't know, extra, then I will glue it down. So, today I'm going to glue it down and you'll have to excuse me. This is... Almighty Bond. Um, I like this. It's not difficult to come off, um, but also it, uh, you know, uh, like you can take it off with like Dawn and um, oil, which is usually what I do, and then just make it into like a little froth, and then it'll just come right up. So, and then you just comb out the glue in your hair. <clears throat> it does have a remover. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, and then I have an old, like, paintbrush um, that I've only used strictly for that. Let me grab my... Handy dandy blow dryer. Make sure your hair is back off of your face and then we're just going to pull each section back so always start with the front um i like to put it like right here before i get to my hairline So did anybody see 
while I'm doing this, did anybody see that um, wig? It was a lace wig, human hair on TikTok that had went viral. And it was like $12. So I like to do it this way and just kind of brush it down. It went viral because of how cheap it was and how good it looked on the girl's hand. Um, and then somebody had duplicated it and then put it on there and like only had like 30 views and stuff like that, or 30 reviews. And everybody was like, no, this ain't what I'm getting. Like, they're getting, like, some garbage dudes. And the girl had to go back and make another... The girl had to go back and make another video to show, like, oh, no, this is, uh... This is the one that I was talking about, blah, blah, blah. Um, here's the secret when you put glue down. Put it down in thin layers. It dries a little bit more evenly. It dries faster. Put it down in even layers. So see how you can't even see that? And I just throw another layer right on top and so anyway I jumped on there and I ordered one and then I realized that I ordered the wrong one and I was just like let me cancel this because it was still coming from China and it would have gotten here until like the end of September. Okay. So that's done. So then you can just take that, pop that down. It's also good to have a rat tail comb, right? Put that down. Okay. So that's down. Okay. Then we're going to do this side and then that side.
I think it's sometimes easier to do it in sections than to just pop it on and then glue it because you have more control over what you're doing. application is a little bit more seamless than if you try to do it like I've I've done it like if I'm okay so I have my like I don't feel like doing my hair let me pull my hair back to a really tight ponytail on the back of my head plop on spray with some even and uh, go from there sprays um that's usually the spot where it's hardest for my wig to lay it down is right there by my temple That's the one where it may get an extra layer because it's so hard to lay down. So, pop that down, plop it on around, loot. I did cut that part right there so that it would lay down a little bit better. But then also, I probably need to throw a little bit of glue right there because that part is separate. I've been watching a lot of older movies lately, like Snow White and the Huntsman, The Huntsman with the War, um, The Spendables. I watched The Spendables 3, and then a few minutes ago, I watched 2. Okay, so that's going to get trimmed off anyway, but that kind of gives that that. And then I'm going to take this and hold on, I'm going to have to go take that off. You want to make sure that you're not doing anything that's going to inhibit um, a good flat lay. <laughs> um, so again, I have an old dress tie. to be flat so it's going to go underneath the hair and I just pull it super tight I just pull it super tight I let it go over my ear so I am half deaf deaf d-a-f deaf has a chance to melt onto my scalp before I do some cutting. So that'll hang on for about 10 minutes. We're going to let that hold for 10 and then I will be right back. Okay, so it has been about 10 minutes. We're going to take this off. See how we are just melted. I think 
right there I might need just a switch of glue um, but let's do some trimming first so hold on I saw somebody do this on a wig install and I was just like I am gonna end up cutting but like I said you can get it as close as you want to let me go ahead and pull this up so Get a little closer. There we go. So we're gonna pop that down. So we're also gonna cut that part. And a lot of lace stuck to it. So I'm just gonna cut you right on off. Cut your lace how you feel comfortable cutting your lace. Don't let nobody tell you how to cut your lace. You cut your lace how you feel comfortable cutting your lace. If you don't feel comfortable with a razor close to your face and you would rather have some scissors, do that. So see like, okay, so I cut this lace, but see how it's still coming up just to See how it's coming up just a little bit. I can excuse my dogs in the back. And hopefully you can hear me. Well, it's just one barking. But So that just needs to go there and you can cut that off if you don't want that long bang that long like ear tab right there you can cut that off and you can make it match that one which I probably will let's go ahead and do that so that they match up all right and all you do is just take your scissors and then just take that little piece off and then you just whoosh that on down and there you go right now here is my problem side see how you can still see all of that lace and stuff like I can pop that right there and hold that on there and then also I always keep scissors with me so again Cut your lace how you want to cut your lace. Don't make nobody let you feel shame because you're cutting your lace with scissors. Maybe you're better with scissors than you are with razors. Maybe you don't want to get that close. Maybe you don't, you know. You've had some traumatic shit that's happened with... Uh... Hmm? 
that is completely up to you. But don't let nobody make you feel bad about that. Because this is day. It's your week. Right? And you can do it however you choose to. So, there we go. That's a little bit better. That is up close and poisonous. All right. Now, because I feel like I've got this where I want it and how I want it, we're going to put just a little more right there. And again, this is why I say, you know, this is not a, uh, a science. Everybody does it the way that they want to, right? Everybody does it the way that they want to. There we go. Now, for whatever reason, call it my body makeup or whatever, we're also going to use this just to go around, what you call it, to melt it in even further. always that one little spot always that one little spot that wants to give you grief see that always that one little spot also I did it off camera make sure you take a Make sure you take uh, isopropyl alcohol, I like 91%, and go around your edges, around your forehead. Now, I am not a, a baby hair, adult swoop person, and if you are, then go ahead. Uh, I just don't. Um, so this is what I was saying. Let me go back. And it's a nice wig. It's got, you know, nice... But as long as I'll do that. Probably right here at boob length. 
right now like I said this thing goes down to my navel I like it at boob length so I think we're gonna cut off about this much hair on both sides so that it is a little less we're gonna do it in the mirror <laughs> no we're, we're gonna do it we're gonna do it And again, it's your wig. Customize it how you see fit. You know what I mean? I think a lot of times people like to pop a wig on and go and it's half cocked on your head. Okay, so see how, oh, that just made it so much lighter. Cause it's taking all of that extra off of there. And so again, don't get me wrong because if you like it long, but I'm short, okay? I'm five foot tall. So when you turn around and you put this 26, 30 inch wig, maybe 26 inch wig on your head and you plop it on there, that bad boy is like, yeah, I like that much better. Um, that bad boy is like on your, no, so with this, like I said, you can part it there. Um, so we're gonna put our part there. You can, so you can do a lot to make your wig look a little more natural. You can use a wax stick and a hot comb um, if you want that more I call it sculptured, sculptured look. Um, I like mine to look a little more natural. So what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna take and make a mess is what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so you can use this, or I like to use this is the Nick Stay Matte, not but not flat powder foundation. Um, in cocoa. As you can see, I've used it. This is primarily for my wigs, and then I have what I like to call my wig. Oh. <coughs> call my wig brush. And then I just put it right in there. It gives you some scalp. All right. Okay, so then when you take this off, now there's a couple of ways that you can do around your edges. Let's see what this looks like. I feel. Okay, so see right here, I have a little bit of white. Let me show you what you do with that. Alcohol. You can also use lint free cotton balls, but I like a good. Isopropyl alcohol, and then you just want to wipe really firmly. So, as you can see, she's laying pretty good. So, as you can see, there's like a little bit of lightness between the two. Um, that's where you can take a trick foundation that's about a shade darker than what you usually use um, in one of these brushes and I'll show you that little trick so I have scalp there and then let's finish that up Right, so then it just brings it right on out. So what you do is you take a little piece of a paper towel. First of all, shake it up in case it settles. Right? 
put a little bit on the back of your hand. If you don't know that trick, what it does is it warms it up so that it, it smooths just a little bit. That's why if you see a, a, a makeup artist or something, put it on there. Okay, take it, put a little bit on that brush like that, wipe it on there, and then I'm going to go to my big mirror so that I can see it a little bit better. Um, but what you do is you just dot it. And then when you get ready to do your makeup, you just blend that in and it's on the automatic contour line. I said, oh, that's pretty slick. Or if you don't want to do that, then you can use just your regular color of foundation and um, do that. I, honestly, during the, day, during the week, I usually don't wear a lot of makeup. But again, and then if you are a baby hair person, you can always grab those baby hairs or cut you and make you some baby hairs uh, out of this. It says it comes with baby hairs. There they go. But they're not right there available to the natural eye, so you probably have to go in there and do some searching for them. Um, or probably have to make you some. Like I said, I'm not a big baby hair person. But, you know, sometimes you have to do like a little swoop dee dee doop or something to do that. So, here we go. We get the installation done. Like I said, I just cut off about, what is that, four inches maybe? Off the bottom. Um, so, we're going to wear, okay, at night, what you do is you want to part it. And I usually do like two sections, like one on each side, and braid it up, put little, uh, not rubber bands, but like pony cell holders down here on each side, put my hair up in a bonnet, and then when I get up in the morning, just take it down, make sure that, you know, wrap around here, and then I usually use this scarf for that. Um, and make sure that it's good to go and then that is it uh, I will post the pictures tomorrow but she is down and she doesn't look like she's going over so she, yeah she's giving me a little bit of some scalp um she's giving scalpiano uh, I just thought that's such a funny term but this is what she looks like so and like I said make your wigs yours Put your wigs on how you feel comfortable putting your wigs on. Everybody doesn't, like I said, everybody doesn't like to put um, a razor next to their face. Um, some people feel more comfortable cutting with scissors. Um, it just depends on how you feel and it's okay. Like with this, if you don't like this like this, you could take a, a hot comb and like with a wax stick and hit it right there and make it a little bit more contour. I like the nice, natural, flowy look of hair. How it just, like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody's hairline is not perfect, you know, and everything. And everybody doesn't like the little swoopy doops or whatever. But, like, right here, you can just take and make you some, like, little baby natural So, see how you've got them there? And it just looks like it's just scalp. So, that's what you want to do. You just... But it takes practice. Um, but make it yours. Just make it yours. Um, a lot of times people want to, you know, give it whatever. So I am going to wear this. Today is Monday. I am going to wear this. Um, let's see how long we wear it. I know I'll probably have to touch up around the, the edges or whatever. But um, I'll do that with the even spray. Um, and if I need to pop a little glue on there, then I will. But let's see how this wears. 
uh, and then I will come back and do a follow-up video to let you know what it's like after I've worn it um, for a week. I'm going to the Southern Classic on Saturday in Memphis, so we're definitely <sighs> conditioner and detangler. It's already kind of detangling. It's already tangling in the back. call me shorty um so yeah so i am going to the southern classic this weekend in memphis i am i don't know if i want to wear this one which i'm the queen of uninstalling and then reinstalling um as long as it's not like matted <laughs> and um, as long as it's not matted and just in disrepair, I am absolutely a lot of shedding on my floor. This is just what I just picked up on the floor. It's got quite a bit of shedding. Uh, and I'm hoping that that's just from when you first put it on and it's got some shedding on it. That's what I'm hoping and praying it is. Um, but I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about all of that stuff. So, like I said, I want to put it on, I wanna wear it. You can definitely do like a low bun, I mean a low ponytail with this. Um, I don't know what it looks like in the back. You can probably see my little braids popping up the back. But you can also do like a low ponytail in it. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do some we're gonna do some things with it. Um, it does have a comb in the back. But you can also take and put a couple of bobby pins in there to secure it a little bit more if you're wanting to do like a lower hanging uh, ponytail. Um, that is completely up to you. I like the fact that that stuff smells like cocoa. Oh, wow. God, that smells good. Anyway, so we're gonna, you know, I'll come back in a couple of days and give you an update and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for stopping by.